Well, welcome everybody. Welcome to UCLA. I'm Rick Wessel, and you might recognize, that's the name that was on the letter inviting you to come to this event. I'm Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs, and I'm just going to say a few brief things um, before we start our program. And um, let's just go ahead and go to the next slide. Isn't it great we didn't have a government shutdown? Um, I, I want to remember that um, something President Obama said early, you know, back in 2009, he was on um, the Jay Leno show before it became the Conan O'Brien show and then the Jay Leno show again. He said that um, we need young people, in, instead of wanting to be an investment banker, we need them to decide if they want to be an engineer. And I'm really glad that you guys have made that decision. It's, it's a really important decision now because the world needs engineers to help us solve the technological problems that we face now. And it just seems like they seem to come faster and faster. In fact, um, we live in this age of an uncontrolled acceleration of technology, it's such an exciting time to be in engineering. And frankly, and I think it'd be a scary time to not be in engineering and not have any sense of all this stuff that's going on. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the next slide. Because this, we are in, we're gonna be engineers, let's look at a graph. Um, so um, I, I wanted you guys to see this. Um, this is the, the blue, um, the blue bars or purple bars, those are the number of the tallest bars. Those are the number of applicants to the School of Engineering um, over the past, you know, since over the past 20 years. And it's, it's going up, and it's going up in kind of a scary way for me. So uh, this year was our biggest year ever with 11,500 applicants to the School of Engineering. And the little itty bitty um, reddish purple curves that's the number of seats that we have in the school, which really has remained relatively flat. Um, it went up, it used to be around 400, and it went up in around, you know, 2007, that where our goal was to have um, 650 freshman spots. So we've got 11,500 applicants competing for those 650 spots, and the fact that you're sitting in this room today means that you made it through that competition, and it's an amazing competition. So. I think you should all give yourselves a hand for that success. And, and I'm not, I mean, I think there are even some movies like probably a lot of the parents have seen Race to Nowhere and, and, and you know, you know that I'm not saying that's a good thing that it's that competitive to be here, but, the, but it is, you, but the students can, that are here, you can take a lot of pride in the fact that you've accomplished that. It surely didn't come without a lot of work. Um, so that's really great. I, I do think uh, the other thing to do is you know, to realize that there were a lot of other good kids that didn't get in who still could have done well here. It's just that we just only have enough space. I guess the point is that we can only admit so many people because we want to make sure that, that you guys who do come have a good experience and, and have a reasonable class size and have enough attention from your instructors. That's really one of the things that, that we're restricted by. So, okay, let's move on to the next slide. And we need to get down to business and, and um, talk about this big decision that you make about where you want to go to school. Um, I guess I just want to start this program off saying the same thing that your, your high school counselors have told you, that, you know, of course, there are lots of great universities, and, and UCLA is one of them, and, and you're here today to find out if it resonates with you and is a, is a good fit um, with what you want out of a university. I love this place. I think it's a great place to do engineering. I think that what's neat about it is it's a place filled with faculty and students who are passionate about what they're doing, and it's just a great place to learn about engineering. Um, and what we're going to do today is try to give you some more information to help you make a good informed decision. Of course, we know that UCLA is the place to be. So let's move on to the next slide. And I, really, I want to introduce, start the program off by introducing the Dean of the School of Engineering, V.J. Deere. And I just want to point out that going along with our theme of space today, in that the, the left hand, lower left slide there, that is um, Dean Deere's heat exchange of boiling fluids in outer space experiment that was recently flown to the International Space Station. So not only is, a fan, is he a fantastic dean doing great things to move the school to a new place in terms of the size of its endowment, the number of scholarships that you as undergraduates can apply for, the quality of the faculty that we have, He's also doing some really neat um, research of his own. So 
here, here he is, Dean Deere. Thank you, Rick, for the kind introduction. Uh, good morning. And I would like to add my warm welcome to all of the prospective students and their families to the open house of the Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science at UCLA. Uh, today is your day to learn as much as possible about the school, about the departments, as well as about our programs. But first of all, I would like to acknowledge the high academic standing and scholarship of all of our prospective students. As Dean Wessel mentioned, the competition to get into the school has been increasing very rapidly in recent years, and it is a testimony to your accomplishments. It is also a source of pride for the families, parents, siblings, and so on. So you all deserve a big round of applause for your accomplishments. At UCLA Engineering, we have a commitment to provide exceptional educational experience to all of the students that decide to join the school. To do so, one needs to bring together excellent academic staff, infrastructure, and programs. Our faculty are experts in their fields well recognized by technical community and are recipients of various honors and awards. All of our faculty are expected to teach at least one, if not two, undergraduate courses per year, irrespective of their seniority or distinction. All of our lecture courses are taught by regular faculty or visiting faculty which we hire from local industry to supplement the education we impart to students. Uh, we have teaching assistants and tutors who help out outside of the classroom. Uh, in our uh, infrastructure, we have the state-of-art uh, instructional laboratories which provide uh, hands-on uh, experience to the students. We also encourage students to participate in various uh, professional society clubs, uh, which give another opportunity to design, develop, test, troubleshoot uh, their creations. With respect to the programs, our programs are very rigorous in terms of basic sciences as well as engineering principles. But we also uh, encourage, in fact, require students to broaden their uh, academic experience by taking courses out of their disciplines. Uh, we require every student to take a three course technical breadth in a discipline different their chosen major. For example, mechanical engineers would take three courses in electrical engineering or, or vice versa. Then we have technical breadth areas at the school level. That includes, uh, as an example, uh, technology management or nanotechnology, green energy. These technical breadth areas are open to every student in the school. Uh, with respect to uh, enhancing your own uh, engineering education, we encourage students to do one summer internship in industry, and we facilitate that through a person we call educational coordinator, William Herrera. He's out there to help you arrange a summer internship in industry. We also encourage students to do summer research projects with faculty and graduate students. And this way, they are well-rounded once they 
come out of the engineering school. Our curriculum is laid out such that it is a four-year curriculum, uh, but during this, these four years, we are going to challenge you, and you are going to challenge us, and you are going to challenge yourself by requiring um, more out of you and accomplishing more than you thought was possible. You will be surrounded by people who are very creative, imaginative, and entrepreneurial. Uh, just to give you a few examples of the history of the school, as many of you may know, we are the birthplace of the internet. We are the birthplace of the reverse osmosis membranes for desalination of water. And we have contributed to many technologies uh, such as wireless communication and mobile devices. So UCLA is a great place to be, as Dean Vessel mentioned. And I hope you will make a good choice, which is the, the right one, to, to, to come to UCLA Engineering. And I wish you all the best. Thank you.